excellent day for an exorcism. Welcome to Just Another Horror Podcast. The men calling every Russian, I think you're coming! I'm John. I worked at Burger King and I got some problems with his bullshit. I'm Cobra. It's funny that you both like really <laughs> shitty movies. Hello, welcome to Just Another Horror Podcast. I'm John. I'm Ben. I'm Cobra. And this is your pick, Cobra. It's Species. Species. This is species. bringing back the 12 year old in me. Oh, yeah? Well, this is why. Since 1995. This won the MTV Award for Best Kiss. What? And the, uh, oh, Natasha the tongue Henshin through the. the tongue through the back of the head. Bravo. Such yeah. an MTV award. See? Look, the movies I pick win awards. What movies <laughs> win your movies? <laughs> uh, it could also win a, an award for the greatest screen screen name ever. Michael Madsen's character, Preston Lennox. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? His character was Preston Tammy. Lennox. They wasted him. They're, they wasted so many uh, great actors in this movie. Yeah, I don't Molina, think this movie was Forrest terrible. Whitaker. No, it's pretty good. Forrest Whitaker, what was he doing? Forrest Whitaker was doing nothing. What did except... they say he was an empath? Yeah. He what could predict, fuck? like, I thought at first he, he could feels. predict one second in the future because he was like, someone's at the door and then someone knocks or opens it. And I was like, later on, he's just like, this girl, she's scared of us. She's running. Yeah. I don't understand. She's not that... scared of us now. She's <laughs> here. What's on your eye, Forrest Whitaker? That's my main concern. So, like you said, he's an empath. That just means that he feels. That's what I thought. You, empathy. Why are you? So these other people don't feel empathy? Is that it? <laughs> well, no, because he questions Clearly Michael Madsen's character Madsen. oh. about you don't feel because Michael Madsen. Was, I don't know what Michael Madsen does. He's a tracker. Yeah, he a kills bounty hunter, uh, an assassin. Like yeah, yeah I don't when know the what government does. when the government experiments go wrong, he goes out and he destroys them for the government. Well, this is the thing in the 90s with like a lot of these movies where you get the group of people together but they would all have some sort of expertise at like a science or something. Uh, what was that? Sphere? Let's call them the Fab Four. There's that movie Sphere and they bring like oh I'm a psychologist. I'm a What is fucking uh, There was other movies like that but Peter you always try to play psychologist. Yeah it's that bad. Calls it the ragtag team. They always have a ragtag team. Like, uh, fucking The Core. Had, like, six different people. Uh, yeah, they all... One of them was just a black guy who's going to sacrifice himself. That's <laughs> oh, all he was. <laughs> That's racist. Uh, but, yeah, all these movies, they had that. It was a team put together. They all have a special... Mm-hmm. Armageddon had it. Yeah. Fucking all of them. Yeah. What came first, though? This I came first. Know. But I don't know what came before it. I'm sure there was movies before What became that. before it? I think it was Graveyard Shift by Dang. Stephen King. Yeah, movies. yeah. Maybe Pet Cemetery. They both came yeah, out. They in all came out before it. And it was ninety. Movie one. Now uh, I'll I'll give Alfred Molina a pass. He, he who was he back then? That's true. Uh who? This is before a lot uh, of these guys really. The took guy off, who so. has sex with her and dies. Ooh, the gro I Alfred. call him Mexican Gabriel Byrne. <laughs> Alfred Molina, he's a great actor. He's like, got one tooth that's like half the size of the other <laughs> one, though. He's real off-putting in this movie. Yeah, yeah, he is. I don't mind him, no. Well, he he's a lot skinnier than like I'm used to seeing him, and it was kind of off-putting. With My that. problem like, with him is he's mopey because they're all mopey. Mike Matt, no, Mike Matt, not him. And, but... What is her name? The What's her real name? Her? Um, Marg Helgenberg. No, Helgenberg. not Marg. She's Margaret. A, yeah. In this movie, uh, she's a molecular biologist. See, they all have a thing. And there's also an anthropologist, an empath, and then a mercenary. Yeah, she's married to so, Jimmy Smith and Tommy Knockers. That's how I know her. But does she do any of those careers? <laughs> they should never be in the same place well, at the do same they, time. Do they, even, they don't have any. Like they don't. Other than them saying, I'm this, they mm -hmm. don't really do anything with that. No, they just chase her. Wait, what, around. what's so, Mexican Gabriel Byrne, what's he do? He is an anthropologist. He's an anthropologist. So he is, what's that? He's basically an expert he's, on somebody he who's, who's not men? familiar with society and how fast they would 
evolve into. Oh, well, you need so to talk to the like, guy that's I think figuring that's out what, how fast she's growing and what she can do. You need to talk to then him for have... 10 seconds. Call him on the phone and be <laughs> yeah. like, here's what's going on. Well, that's not normal. All right, we'll talk to you later. That's um, it. Well, he's the retard that had sex with me. <laughs> well, that's the... <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my God. That body. She's stunning. Now, uh, she didn't have many lines. Is she foreign? I think we looked this up last night. It says she's from Canada. Okay. Newfoundland. Well, she has, or Newfoundland. I assume she was just a supermodel that got into movies. They didn't give her many lines, and all she had to do was just look. Like, basically... This alien model walks everywhere. She's, she's not pretty hot. I mean, she's so hot. The character that she's playing though really doesn't have to do much either. I guess so. Not, it makes sense. She's to pretty me. deep for an alien. What? <laughs> she says almost nothing in this movie. <laughs> she wears a fanny pack. She makes a fanny pack. She so says things true. that. She's kind of like... Did you stop and think when she said things and re-examine your life or something? <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe. I'm just asking. <laughs> You're so misogynist. It, it was what? little things like uh, when she gets off the train and she's in the city, she immediately knows to go to a hotel or a motel mm -hmm. and ask for, can I get a room? How does she know this? It's things like that. Because yeah. she was... 14 years old, oh, 13 years old. because she watched the television on the train. Watch the television. Oh my god, that thing. Uh, yeah, what was that that's thing? That's what I have here. What is this TV device? It's how from is Sony. It... Sony must have had something to do with this movie. How is it connected? What is she connected to that she's watching? I mean, was there an antenna she on this thing? She pushed a button and this thing came up, and then she pushed it back down, and it started playing different things. Like, was it a tape? Was it TV? What the fuck was it? I, th I got it there was television. She was just watching TV, and that's how she was... Integrating into how to function in society. I've never seen one like. I think she she's a highly intelligent creature, mm -hmm. so she can pick up on things. She adapts quickly, real easy. No, mm -hmm. no, go on. Sorry. Wait, no, go ahead. No, I was gonna. You said like highly intelligent, mm -hmm. and then I, it just the Ben Kingsley story of what happened and how they created her, and they were giving, they were given. DNA by an alien species, so we just decided to mix it. Mix it. What? That's what the government does. That I, weird. So I'm assuming she was. They were trying to weaponize her. I like how he thought that because she was a woman that she'd yeah. be more docile. Oh, yeah. have you then, ever been around fucking women? That uh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, Michael. They're Michael not Mons, docile. They're very violent. Is this and aggressive? Is this the um the first? time where we're getting these uh like csi one-liners these procedural like michael bassett's got obviously you don't get out much <laughs> right but, like it's just these one-liners he's grown like oh god <laughs> the writing it's but, not great but then they like took that and they do it with television all the time now like the csi procedurals like this felt like it was made for tv yeah, except for natasha hey. running around it was naked. a little better than that i think I think Ooh, having Natasha Henstridge naked made it better and yeah. weirdly enough elevated the material. <laughs> but um It also elevated it, something else. Yeah, it <laughs> elevated a lot of things. That, I didn't buy that they were always just one step behind her. Like they didn't need this tracker. They just spoke to a witness who said she left with this guy <laughs> in this car and then they would go find him. And it's like he's not tracking What's he doing? Here? He's trying. No, he's not. Hey, he's doing the investigative work that he needs oh, to to figure God. out who she went home with. He's not. They could do it themselves by just asking the witness. So. A group of four government-sponsored trackers should be able to find this woman yeah. very quickly. Yeah, but you don't know. Okay, so although they didn't wait, realize, let's start real quickly. She's a young girl who mm -hmm. they've mixed alien DNA with and they're gonna gas her because they don't know all the side effects, all the yeah. side effects of what this can cause and so they're gonna gas her and she breaks out because she's that is one of the silliest fucking and things stupid. and then she the gets away on a train mm -hmm. and this bum tries to touch her and she throws him against the wall and he gets turned into like Ernest, Ernest when he ends up in the fucking garbage can oh, yeah. or the garbage <laughs> trash compactor, he's all fucking legs are above his head. And it's a position that no well, natural very, uh, could be in. It was very it, uh, it follows deaths. 
Like yeah, the legs are all snapped into a weird just, nap. So we know she's strong. And on the train, she eats chocolate pudding, which is enough to make her <laughs> metamorphosis. She's the side of a banana, too. It's fucking weird. Yes. But that's enough. It made me want to vomit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ugh. Too mature out of your mouth. into the Natasha Henstridge. So she's growing at a rapid pace. Mm-hmm. Very rapid. I have another problem. If she's, Did she stop at Natasha Henstridge? That's only one day, Ben. It doesn't... She went from that little girl... To Na- Natasha she went from 13 to let's say 19. It took her three months to get to 12. So that would mean, hang on a second, four years a month. So she's basically growing a year every week. That's fine because we don't see her a total lifespan here. We don't even see her for a I week. Guess. We only follow her two days <clears throat> while she's at the club. Then the next day she's having sex with it doesn't take her long Mexican before. Gabriel Byrne. And then that guy gets to have sex with Frida too, doesn't he? Like Selma Hayek. Isn't he Diego... No, this is the height of X Files. So, like this whole alien government conspiracy, uh, hybrids, everyone. This was like the first splice, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. splice! I bet it. I never saw a splice. Natasha Hedges would not have sex with Adrian Brody. But she, Adrian Brody, has sex with that alien in that movie, and it's one of the weirdest fucking scenes I've ever seen in a movie. What? Weirder really? than the hot tub scene in Mad Men? I said one of the <laughs> not the weirdest. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. So he doesn't say he died. He just talks about Sonny Bono. He's like, I don't even know what it says specifically, but it's like Sonny Bono ski horse is hitting some trees. Hey, <laughs> how many retards are listening to me? God damn Eminem. <laughs> uh, does she not know how easy it would be to? Well, she's an alien. She doesn't realize it. Like no, but just... not like any guy on the street. That's what I mean. She's an alien. She doesn't realize that she just goes out and she's like, "Hey, anybody want to breed? <laughs> you don't even have to take care of the baby." Well, she also knows. <laughs> Obviously, the guy in the swimming pool. Don't tell them you want a baby. That's kind of weird. Nope. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. She's still yeah, learning. I know. But that chick. That's a pretty cool kill scene with the spine in the bathroom. I oh yeah. That. It wasn't CG. It was all fucking effects. Which is nice. <laughs> the CG effects, you know. Yeah, no, this wasn't though. This was just yeah, regular. It was just, you're funny. You're like, it wasn't CGI. It was just effects. I can't. I might have bumped this up a point if they effect. used just like regular effects, like I know, I know. Instead of CGI, I can't remember the word. Practical. 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 Yeah. yeah. You know what? It still looked better than the fucking mist effects. The fuck you. And fuck you. I like the mist. I, I didn't say that you didn't. All I said was, all I said was, the CG and species look better than the mist CG. It was more real. There's just, I love 90s, this, the music of this era, but movies from this era, I just, it's so cringeworthy. It's the fashion, it's the... Who was on the soundtrack of this? Somebody good. Stan um, Winston was the creature effects. I'll check it out. Um, or he was producer of something. All your big name guys that you guys like are on this. Well, did you catch the hockey game? I was trying to find out what Michael Madsen, who was playing, but I think they were just a generic team. I was like, that's why you like his character so much. Yeah, he <laughs> he was watching hockey, hockey he's as watching well. Hockey. So. I mean, he's not boning chicks in the hotel room. Crystal <laughs> Meth hockey. is on here. Um, and that's it. I don't know any of these other... There's a song called If You Don't Know Me By Now. I know I've heard that before. Yeah, if, that's an old song. Yeah. They probably didn't get it. No, who's doing the the score? The score? Uh, Somebody you guys like, I think. Somebody uh, big. John Williamson? No. Get the fuck out. John Williamson? <laughs> that could be. Christopher Young from Christopher Young. Hellraiser. There you go. Somebody yeah. good. Yeah, he is pretty good. They put it... I don't know. She kills a guy... Uh, the hotel is, sh- like, the- they're there investigating. They know where, like, this happened. She drives to the hotel right outside front. With and the top times, down. she should be caught. Yes. She is, like, looking Worst. at the investigators. <laughs> Worst tracker ever, Michael Madsen. He's so cool in this movie, though. And he he's was so just, cool in that tilt show. I'm pretty sure he's a psychopath in real life. Like, he's... Well, I always liked him in the movies he was in. Oh, he plays just such a psycho in, um... Uh, uh, Tarantino, like Reservoir Dogs. Oh yeah. The ear. Is he Mr. Pink or Green or Orange? He's the guy who's doing the dance right before he cuts the guys. He, he, no, Mr. Pink is. Uh, I've still never seen that movie. Oh man, 
Uh, that's uh, Steve Buscemi's character is Mr. Pink. I think he's Mr. Yellow. That's right, because Steve Buscemi's like, why do I have to be pink? And they're yeah. like, he's a Steve Buscemi. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think he's Mr. Brown. But so the one guy she doesn't... Brown or yellow? Now you said two Oh, things. yellow, I mean. The one guy she doesn't want to have sex with, because he has diabetes, so I need to plug... Uh, something from Wilford, Wilford Brimley. Wilford Brimley. <laughs> and that's if you talk it through the head, huh? Hmm? Second Is it episode second? recently, we talked about Wilford Brimley. Yeah. He was in the thing. Yeah, but I thought we talked about him some other time. We just too. saw... We just said something about yeah, what him. what the fuck movie were we looking for that had... Oh, it was that one that you ran in. Prophecy. But Prophecy. you weren't here for that, so that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I looked up... Our progeny. Progeny, yeah. I thought I looked up, like... No, I looked up. I was looking up Wilford Brimley's age. It must have been from the thing. I was looking up his age, and I said he. He was only like during the so. thing. He was younger than it was like Tom Cruise is now or something. <laughs> hey, the doctor. I this, better get on my notes. I he's uh, Lane's. He's yeah. Lane's boss at Pendant Publishing. The doctor. Which doctor? The mental doctor. Uh, I don't know. I just have here Doctor Pendant Publishing Seinfeld. It's the balding guy. No, he's got that. Oh, I have to fucking show you. Yeah. He was in this. <laughs> we got the pool scene here. Oh, he's she's like on top of him in the pool and he's like, hey, slow it down. This and I'm is like, another time. About? Yeah, oh my god, this guy. Why would you ever complain? Yeah, he's like, I just want to get to know you. Like, what? That's why you, you took to the, her home. You go you, to the club so you can get to know a woman and bring her home and learn about her and shit? No. Right. Okay. What an idiot. <laughs> Everyone knows. Are we supposed to, like, feel sympathy for some of the people that she's killing? Because one of them flat out tries to rape her. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have hair. Look at him. He's bald there. He was bald in this movie. Go ahead, bald. Oh, more yeah. hair than me, so... Well, Jesus Christ. Who doesn't have more <laughs> hair than you besides maybe Weaver? But I think he does have more hair than you. No, I don't. Yeah, he's Wait. got more in the back. Wait. Gone. Lift forward, both of you. He's got more in the back gone. Yeah, but he could grow more... He could get, like, a... Almost a widow's peak. You're saying you can, cannot get widow's peak anymore. You're saying he can grow a better skeleton than me. Yeah. <laughs> He'd have an awesome M. <laughs> he let his <laughs> hair grow in. You? Wanna, you, you want to have a skeleton competition? Yours is not <laughs> right. You're on. <laughs> One year from today, we will judge. Do we? Uh, do we want to talk about the sprinkle out of the squirrel? Go ahead, because you brought this up. What the fuck? <laughs> a squirrel. Squirrel scare. <laughs> This is the most bizarre thing in this movie. The squirrel of, jumps on that one. Out of nowhere, a squirrel tries to rip a jugular out. Why? Because it's a species. And she just looks like it's normal. Ugh, squirrel. No. What? Squirrels don't go this way towards a person. They always go the other way. Always. Yes. Maybe it's like a another script they had somewhere laying around about a killer squirrel, and they're like, throw that in the movie. You Go know what's ahead. weird, too? Natasha Henstridge, when she's looking for sex, she falls asleep and has this weird alien sex dream oh, the other. where this alien is, like, behind this other alien, like, ramming a doggy style and caressing <laughs> its alien tip. And there's flashing and strobe lights everywhere, too. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, the, uh, it must be at the alien club in the back or something. <laughs> I forgot to write that down to talk about the, the weird flashbacks that she's having. Or It looks like a cut scene from Alien Resurrection or something. Just with flashing lights on the ship or oof. Have we do we already talk about is the guy that she gets in the tub with the second guy? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the swimming pool? Yeah. yeah the yeah, first guy tries guy. to rape her, the second guy. Why does that guy take a picture at the table he's like let's take a picture of this you just met this girl why would you take a picture of her i, I got more back. cameras back in my house they're yeah, super this expensive weird. She's uh, real hot, though, so. people just can't think straight when they're Forrest whitaker keeps having these like thoughts and stupid thoughts throughout <laughs> he's like she's scared but so she's running Thank you. I'm glad we hired you. No, she's not scared anymore. Yeah, she might be at the club, but she might not. <laughs> oh God, I'm glad you're we close. have this guy. I think you're close, Forrest Whitaker. You're getting there. Well, one of those options is definitely true. <laughs> and eventually, oh wait, no, there is a fire, right? Because they think she's dead. fire. They think she's dead. There's like a fire, fiery crash, and Ben Kingsley's just like, well, she puts another body in there. She kidnaps a woman. Yeah. 
and leaves her in the in the car when she wrecks into the transformer. And she does that awesome yeah. barrel roll out. Mm -hmm. But uh, that when she takes that car, she's naked. Well, I was trying to think of what brought them all to the bar where they start celebrating, bonding, but not, and drinking. And Forrest Whitaker's like, I don't think she's dead yet, but she might be. Thanks. Thank and you, then, Forrest. Uh, <laughs> they get Alfred Molina to drink at Long Island, and it reminded me of Cobra. At, it's uh, Ginger Hill. Ginger Hill one night where he claims to this day he drank five Long Islands. You drank three, because you spilled the fourth one. <laughs> and the fifth, and the fifth one was the fifth there. one was just iced tea. <laughs> That's when I first started drinking. I was a wreck. I went head first into the garbage can when I got home that night. You were passed out in the bathroom at Ginger Hill. That's not. I probably passed out in many different places <laughs> at Ginger Hill. So at this point, doesn't she cut her hair? Yeah, she and doesn't just her cut her hair. She cuts dyes her hair, it, dyes too. it, she and it's commercial. getting all over her and shit. Because she apparently has no fucking clue. Uh, oh, Michael Madsen gets a little rapey. The one woman goes to bed, and then he goes after her. And, mm -hmm. like, it works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which leaves... Uh, yeah, she was waiting there for him. Mm -hmm. Which uh, leaves Forrest Whitaker and Alfred Molina at the bar. And, like, two women check them out. I'm like, how progressive. It, he's white and black, and both the two girls looking at them are white and black. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, Is he white? Probably Latino or he's the Mexico, I, he might Mexican Mexican Gabriel Byrne. I, I would think Italian with that yeah, name. Yeah, What's his name? Alfred Molina. Yeah. Francesco Molinari <laughs> is an Italian golfer. Okay. And those are close. <laughs> yeah. How about Webb okay. Simpson? Huh? Yeah. Doing some work. Maybe get you a little cut of that kitty. If you can do Maybe. Some work today. Oh, I have here. Forrest Whitaker leaves Alfred Molina at the bar. Shouldn't he see what's going to happen to him? He should feel like maybe something will happen. Yeah. The only, you right. know what his best attribute is? Seeing sex through a hotel door. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking go. perv. He's like, Ugh. oh, I saw sex. More sex. I'm not sure if I saw it, though. Let me show you that again. <laughs> Just keep a hand on that door. Hold on, hold on. Don't bother me. <laughs> I'm having visions. I like how, uh, how Natasha Henstridge wants to have sex with... Uh, what the fuck is his name? Michael Madsen, right? Yeah, Michael. But Preston. but because he's having sex with oh, the, other, the woman. other woman, he's she's like, yeah, Alfred Molina's fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they have sex and a bunch of spines start coming out of her back and shit. And Which then is cool uh, looking. I thought it looked good. It looked okay. Yeah. So well, it's just that where it's literally the alien costume, but with tits. It just reminded me of like Howard the Duck, <laughs> where the ducks in the, when he's getting. Have you ever seen Howard the Duck? Yeah, many times. Yeah, he's years. getting he's getting beamed out, and he goes through like all the walls of the apartments, and there's the one duck. It's just a duck with boobs, and it's like so disturbing. Oh man! But that's what it reminded me of with the alien costume. Like, we'll put boobs on it. So it's alien, a female immediately. Alien's gonna have boobs. So this is when Forrest Whitaker is like, she's in a hotel. A little late. Because yeah. Alfred Molina's dead now. Yeah, he's having <laughs> sex with somebody out there, mm -hmm. you dick. She turns, yeah, I mean, if you're going to die, you might yeah. as well be by... She turns into the alien and goes into the sewer. Because, yeah. of course, you know the fucking sewer. <laughs> Why not? You just have to have dark... Area of dark, so you don't, you don't know what's going to jump out at Ben you. Kingsley's, like, overlooking this sewer water that's bubbling. and He does, a, he does a lot of this in the movie. He's like pretty stupid. useless in this movie. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of useless cast in this movie. Like I said, it's a good cast actually. But I act I laughed my ass off. I think it's coming up, or it's right around this time when the alien is using her tits as weapons. Like something flies out of <laughs> yeah. the nipple portion of the alien thing. Yeah, they might have went a bit too far. Uh -huh. <laughs> ben Kingsley gets is sucked into Kingsley? the water. Okay, she comes out, and flying. then they end up. They end up somewhere with, like, lava, like the end of Terminator 2 or something, don't they? Am I wrong? I don't remember. There's a lot going on right at the end here. Yeah, they pack it. They pack all the action into the last couple, 15 minutes or I so. I know she gives birth to a baby. Yep. I think I was drinking a little bit. <laughs> this, I don't remember the last five rats. minutes. I remember that they drop her into lava. That's what I remember. Or fire or something. It's fire. Is it fire? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, I stopped taking notes after the hotel scene, so. 
You're like, I've had enough. Yeah. Dan <laughs> finds the baby. And it was like, just mm. rats. Yeah, so your <laughs> notes are just as good as ours. None, obviously, none of us know what happens right at the end. Then the alien five attacks, <laughs> and she keeps attacking. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Matson's like, let go, you motherfucker! Mark Matson. What's his name? Mike Matson. Michael Matson. <laughs> let go, you motherfucker! He has a does he, does, he a, does he have a one-liner to kill her? Yeah, oh, that's man. it. That's and then, the one-liner? Then he shoots her head and it explodes. Oh my god. And then a rat nibbles on part of the remains. It and attacks it has the a, rat. And... A long rat tongue to make uh-huh. a sequel ready to go. Ratty. Ratty to go. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently this movie just tailed off. And yeah. <laughs> there was so much going on, we didn't give it justice. No. But it was all alien effects. It wasn't that great. Alright, should people check this out? Uh, ben? I, there are two reasons to check this movie out. I think we've discussed them in depth. <laughs> I'd like to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> review. It's what mid '90s popcorn movie. Was it, I mean, it made a hundred and some million. I think it was made for thirty some million. This thing. Killed. That's a lot of lonely it fathers. Killed. <laughs> so, but it extremely wasted cast. But I was trying to think like, was Forrest Whitaker? You know, was Not he? Yet. Bi- he wasn't big then. Alfred was Lee he ever won. really big? He won a Oscar for. Last King of Scotland. And... Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> this movie won a fucking MTV Movie Award. So. It's very it's 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 X Files meets a Sci-Fi Channel meets Cinemax, uh, mm-hmm. kind of with the you know nudity. Other than that, it's a Sci-Fi movie that should be on the Sci-Fi Channel. Um, uh, I think Weaver, you brought it up and uh, texting back and forth when I was watching this. You were like, it seems like it's multiple scripts that. We're just mm-hmm. kind of thrown together, and yeah, it does really much feel like that. It's just you it just it jumps. Too. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> Explain uh, yourself. I will. Um, also, did, I feel like it may have been a little better if you got a more shit heel vibe from Ben Kingsley. Like he didn't do anything. Yeah, it wasn't. I felt like maybe throw in like a. He's got an evil plan or yeah, something. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. A, uh, He's crying at the beginning of the yeah, fucking just, movie. I think they, yeah, it may have been better. He's very this girl. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Five, uh, well, Clearly you guys don't have daughters. Five out of ten. Clearly yeah. you guys don't have daughters. It's not unwatchable. Five out of ten. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I might watch this again. I don't know. It's not I'm sure thing. you will watch it again, you little <laughs> masturbator. It's 2019. I can find porn. I don't need to watch Species to get my rocks off. Thank you. Uh, yes, you do. Isolate that. Well, yeah, um, this felt like several different movies or ideas. Like you said, it had a ragtag group of guys and women. Just So that could be any movie from the mid-90s. And <laughs> Someone, I'm sorry, better that redhead woman is just not attractive at all. No, it's the haircut. It is. Yeah. No, it's her face. It is so. <laughs> She's looked the same for like 20 years. I and mean, not good. And how bad do you feel for her? Like she has to go up against Natasha Hendricks. <laughs> but she ends up getting the hunkiest guy in the movie. Do you feel like she went? I'll get nude too. You watch, and everybody's like, "No, you oh, don't yeah, have to do she, that." She, like, no. she did. She had the. Uh, she did have the quick uh, nip. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they had. Yeah, they I mean, they had to position the camera in a way to get that, so you know she was like, "I want to. I want to be nude." <laughs> yeah. Like I, I just feel bad for her. Like I, you know, she's got to compete against Natasha Hendricks the whole movie. Like, like. People like Cobra are just gonna go. She's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, but I Natasha Hendricks. Why do we need her? But I didn't mind. Not necessary. Her. But uh, I I liked some of the effects in this movie, and I thought some of them were terrible. It was a mix. Um, I you, there's a lot of stuff they introduced at the beginning too that went absolutely nowhere. Ooh, like they what? start off with SETI, so they're looking <laughs> yeah. for like. I was wondering this too. I guess that's how the that's how they found the her DNA information to yeah. it. Yeah, they never said that there was actual alien contact to hand us the, the DNA. You can't beam us a DNA sequence. And no, we, you can't punch it into a computer and get it. Like you need physical. Even if you punched it in, you would still need some sort of physical, actual DNA. Yeah. They did send it. Did how? they send physical FedEx? DNA? FedEx, not really? FedEx. 
SpaceX, <laughs> and they put it in a tube and threw UPS, it out. UPS, not FedEx. So what's the <laughs> SpaceX? So what's the space? Uh... Oh, the rich guy. Yeah, Tesla guy. The guy Elon got, Musk. Elon yeah. Musk uh, brought it. So yeah, it's not the worst thing that we've watched by any means. It was better than Replicator, that's for fucking sure. Mm. So come on, <laughs> better than hey, a lot. Relax, I'm giving it a six. It was all right. Oh, a six? Yeah. That's way better than I thought. All right, go ahead. I threw my notes away. Oh, this movie. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> this movie, I remember what. Okay, the origins of this. I, I went to see Pocahontas. Hold Me, on. Can I say something? Yeah. I appreciate your love of. Because this is total nostalgia for you. You were a young teenage boy. <laughs> so you. Yeah, it's very formidable years to be watching. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, right. no, I understand. Go on. Sorry. Um, so, me, my mom, Billy Montgomery and his mom, and our neighbor, Cindy, see a shadow go to Grove City. They got for you to see Pocahontas in 94, 95. It came out at the same time. He and remembers we're go- the years. Yeah, well, that's when. So, we're, we're driving home, and I remember telling my mom, I was like, I saw a preview for that Species movie, and I'd really like to see it. And it just came out on DVD, I think. And Cindy was like, I don't think you should be watching that. <laughs> that there's a lot of nudity in it. And How did she know just from the... She had saw it. Oh, she saw it. There think... was a lot of stuff going around. I remember that I wanted to see it, too, because the, the people talking about how yeah. often Natasha Henstridge is walking around naked yeah. in the movie. Yeah, and I remember... Pleading with my mom was like, listen, Peg, I've seen boobs before, and she eventually <laughs> let me get it, and I was just, ah, it's, it's a, it's not great, it, you're right, it is not great, there are wasted actors in this movie that could be doing other things. At least it's fun, though. It is mm-hmm. fun, I wasn't bored at any point with this movie, no. it just, it's just not good, but there's, she's so hot, and some of the... Um, effects are good, you're mm-hmm. right, and some of them are just bad. It's 90 CG and it's terrible. But I'm gonna give this movie a six with you. And it's it's watchable once for sure, and mm-hmm. maybe twice by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but anybody, yeah, it's it's just it's a mediocre movie has with anybody, a lot of nudity. No, but you two haven't seen Species Two or Species. I 3. did see Species Two. I might have a long time ago. I don't but think I did. I saw Species Two before I saw this, and it was. It's just like a an alien on a spaceship. That's is it. it. It's Natasha Henry. Is it's it her just, again, but she's not in it the whole time. And I don't think she okay. gets naked as much. No, they toned it down big time in that one. Oh, she right. bought her money and was like, "I'm not getting naked as much." <laughs> I'm sure it's how she said it. Like I told him, it's like a uh, rest stop when that guy's like, everybody's going to be in the mood scene. It's just part of the deal. <laughs> rest stop. <laughs> oh, that was rough. If you want to get a hold of us, facebook.com backslash horrorcasting. Horrorcastings at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at horrorcasting. Some of you have actually been on there talking to us about From Beyond and shit like that. Keep it up. Yeah, keep doing it. Any requests, Leslie? We got some. Oh, really? That uh, okay. you know, request month was last fucking month, which would be three months. Come on, ago, people, get your heads out of your asses. Come on, guys. Come and on. then uh, I don't hmm. want to insult people. I know this guy. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, we're on Podbean. We're on YouTube and Stitcher. I think we're still on Stitcher. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. If we're not, sorry. Oh, iTunes. That's it. And you know what? Leave us a fucking review, you lazy bastards. If you want us to fucking review something for you... Just say good. Yeah, just be like, eh, it's alright. Give us a three out of five be like, eh, yeah. I'd listen again. Maybe once. <laughs> it's an alright movie. Cobra gets, Take us gets out. out, so, you know. Eh. Take us out. Thrill me.